Welcome to the world of pixels, perspective, and palette, where your knowledge of photography is tested. This is the Photo Mentor's Ultimate Photography Trivia Quiz. I'm your host, Charlie Clickster, here to guide you through this panorama of questions, quizzing your memory, challenging your understanding, and putting your knowledge to the ultimate test. Here are the rules. I will display a question and you will have 10 seconds before the answer is revealed. Are you ready? Who is celebrated as the pioneering figure in the field of photojournalism? A. Robert Capa B. Matthew Brady C. Henri Cartier-Bresson D. Ansel Adams The answer is C. Henri Cartier-Bresson. Bresson was a French humanist photographer, is often called the father of photojournalism. He was a master of candid photography and an early user of 35mm film. His innate ability to capture the human condition in a single frame made his work a blueprint for future photojournalists. Which term listed below doesn't belong in the classification of camera lenses? A. Telephoto B. Macro C. Wide Angle D. Diaphragmatic Diaphragmatic isn't a type of camera lens. The three main types of camera lenses are telephoto, macro, and wide angle. Diaphragm in photography refers to the adjustable aperture, or opening, of the lens, which controls the amount of light passing through to the film or digital sensor. What does the F represent in the term F-stop? A. Frame B. Focus C. Fresnel D. Fraction The answer is D. The F in f-stop stands for fraction. In photography, f-stop is a measure of the size of the aperture, the opening of the lens. It is expressed as a ratio with F standing for the focal length of the lens and the number following it representing the diameter of the aperture. So an f-stop of f2 means the diameter of the aperture is one half of the focal length. Who was the first female photojournalist to contribute to Life magazine? A. Dorothea Lange B. Diane Arbus C. Margaret Bourke-White D. Annie Leibovitz The correct answer is C. Margaret Bourke-White was an American photographer and documentary photographer. She is best known as the first foreign photographer permitted to take pictures of the Soviet Five-Year Plan, the first American female war photojournalist. In the fall of 1936, Henry Luce again offered Bourke-White a job, this time as a staff photographer for his newly conceived Life magazine. Bork White was one of the first four photographers hired, and her photograph, Fort Peck Dam, was reproduced on the first cover. What's the term for the technique that results in a blurred foreground and background? A. Parallax B. Bokeh C. Panning D. Bracketing B is the answer. Bokeh is a Japanese term meaning blur. 
In photography, it refers to the aesthetic quality of the blur produced in the out-of-focus parts of an image produced by a lens. It has been defined as the way the lens renders out-of-focus points of light. Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and if you're as passionate about photography as I am, then I would love to have you join me on my journey as I try to establish myself in the competitive world of photography. You and I might even have some of the same struggles, such as the lack of experience and self-confidence. Sound familiar? Or my own insecurities and doubts that I'm not good enough? I hope you're not dealing with other photographers like JD who want to see me fail because I don't know all the techno babble he does. In each episode, I share what I have learned about lighting, editing, and running a business. So who knows, we might be able to help each other? To find out more about me and to keep up with the challenges and yes, hopefully my success, then visit photomentorradio.com. A huge thank you to all our friends out there who joined us for this journey into the world of photography. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If your hunger for photography trivia isn't quite satisfied, don't worry. We've got more to come. To make sure you don't miss out on our next trivia session, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash at PhotoMentor. Keep on expanding your horizons, keep on challenging your knowledge, and most importantly, keep on shooting. I am Charlie Clickster, looking forward to celebrating the art of photography together. Until next time, stay focused, be creative, and keep telling incredible stories.